Aparna Ghar is one of millions of India's domestic workers. In a single day, she often works more than 12 hours, washing up and wiping floors at five homes in Mumbai. We don't get regular salary raises. We also face problems when it comes to getting a weekly holiday and paid annual leave. It's all up to the person whose home we work at. Unlike people who work at factories and construction sites, domestic workers are not recognized as labor by Indian laws, despite the fact that virtually every middle and upper class home in the urban areas of the country employs domestic help. And so household workers say they are not legally entitled to any benefits. We can work up to a certain age, but once we are old, what then? Who will take care of us? We should get pensions and medical insurance too for when we fall sick. We work at other people's homes and we can't afford to employ someone to do our housework. So we end up working really hard through the day. The government should ensure that we get some basic facilities. These women are protesting against the alleged abuse of a maid in Mumbai. Social workers claim mistreatment such as mental harassment or physical abuse is not uncommon. And in the past, cases like these have often been ignored. However, a recent law passed by India's parliament to protect women from sexual harassment at the workplace does include domestic workers. We had to work very hard to make sure that household workers were brought under this law. Now at least they have some protection. But we are still worried about whether this bill will be implemented properly. In 2008, another bill was drafted to look specifically into issues facing domestic workers. But this is yet to be made into a law. Household servants in India are largely unorganized and do not have significant labor unions. And that's the reason why they haven't been able to voice their demands strongly. Many say the government needs to take a serious look into their problems because of the sheer number of people employed in this way. According to the International Labour Organization, India has over 10 million domestic workers, a figure that's more than doubled from 4.75 million in 2005. And over 70% of these are women. For India, I have seen that there is, a, there is strong commitment and there's been strong commitment the last couple of years from the highest level to try to promote uh, a policy framework uh, on this issue to uh, protect domestic workers. It's very, very important that this policy uh, moves through the, the, the system as, uh, I would say, uh, as a matter of urgency, because we are talking about a uh, very vulnerable uh, section uh, of uh, the society. Experts also say that domestic labors in many ways hold up the economy because they allow several others to go out and work. The recently released national budget announced some schemes for household help. And many like Aparna hope that soon they will see much more recognition and support from government.